all leadership is f***ing hard work. And that's why it gets, rarely gets done well, is because it takes a lot of time, a lot of effort, and a lot of one-on-one -on -one time. So it's it's not something that you just go, oh, I've learnt these four principles in the frontline management course, now I'm a good leader. And you've got to be continually improving yourself. It's like any athlete or anything else like that, you need to be training at it every day. So for me, the really good leaders are those guys, the ones that will speak up, they'll tell you what's going wrong all the time. A lot of the time they get shut down as in they're just being pessimistic, but they can see the real problems. They can see what's going on. And I've got I've got them. The, the leaders aren't necessarily in a leadership role either. I've got mm. guys that have worked for me for years as tradesmen that I'll trust. Anything they tell me, if they come and tell me, I'm listening because I know that they know what's going on. There's leading hands I've got that don't want to step into a supervisor's role and they they basically run as a supervisor for me anyway, but they prefer to stay as a leading hand. And I know when those guys come and speak to me, I need to shut up and listen. In your opinion, what are some sort of essential traits that make up a good leader um, on a project? Okay. Now, mine aren't the usual guys, okay? And That's good. This, this is why I'm actually writing the book. It's called Troublemaker. And this, the story goes right back to when I, um, as I said, I left school early and they, they were glad to see the end of me and I was glad to see the end of them. And my brother came along. He's four years younger than me. Okay, He got into high school two years after I did and unfortunately for him, he got the same English teacher. Anyway, first day, she's looked at the, at the page and goes, um, Nathan Bean, yep. Are you Adam Bean's brother? Yep. She said, I hope you're nothing like him. He's a real <laughs> troublemaker. <laughs> All, all my best guys have been like that. They're troublemakers. They tend to. There's a difference between a loudmouth and a troublemaker. Trouble, a loudmouth just shout out, uh, out all, all the time and never got anything to back it up. Troublemakers will speak up for themselves, but they will speak up uh, and genuinely got a concern normally when they speak up like that. And they're not afraid to tell you what they think. Again, this, guy, um, this, this is actually the opening of the book. I was on a job in Gladstone and. It was a typical of this company. They'd give you way too much to try and manage and run. I was trying to run three different crews, which you should never, ever do. Anyway, I just took this crew over in the, mor in the morning and had this guy. He was sort of the unofficial leading hand of the crew. So I've gone up to him and I said, um, what's going on here, mate? You know, what are you doing here? This, that, the other. Just trying to quickly work out where they were at so I could get them going and get and see the other two crews as well. And he looked at me and said, I'll tell you what. He said, you off back to the office and have a coffee. He said, when I will need something, I'll come and get you. <laughs> I thought, look, I said, this bloke either knows what he's doing or he's going to hang himself pretty quick. So I'll yeah. give him a bit of rope and see what happens. And he just <laughs> come off a job with me again the other day. 